Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Now we have confusion here. There's confusion, it could be up in your head here. Uh, it could be f confusion over having options and choices. What Spirit's saying is give it to the universe and Spirit. Ask Spirit for guidance. If you don't ask Spirit, Spirit can't come in and guide you. So put it out to the universe uh, to help with your clarity. Let's have a see what, see what the guidance is here. If this starts to resonate, please like, share and subscribe. Five of Swords. The Six of Cups. The Four of Swords. King of Pentacles. The overall central energy is the Chariot card, which is Cancer energy. There we are. There's your confusion. The Nine of Swords. That's why you can't see the way forward. The Five of Wands. The Three of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles. So what we've got here is we've got worry, anxiety, sleepless nights. Um, you're not being able to see the way forward. What I've said earlier stands. You won't be able to connect in with your intuition or your heart chakra if you're in your head. This affects coming from the ego is not the best place to be coming from. We need to be wise about this and we need to take that step back. We need to take the step back, give it to, you know, pray, put it out to the universe. We need to do a lot of self-healing here. You could have been through illness as well for some of you, but this really is about taking that step back and pampering yourself. Um, it could be taking a break as well. But look after yourself here. Self-care is definitely needed here. This is a time where we need to review the situation, review the things that we've been through here and deciding how we're going to go forward. So there can be a kind of brainstorming that takes place here after you review the situation. But I would take time out to take a step back and you'll be able to connect in with your intuition as well. Ground yourself, do things you enjoy, look after yourself. The healing will take place and you'll be able to connect in with your intuition more clearly. And that takes you out of your head because you're going to have to weigh things up here to bring better balance into your situation. Now, this could be work. It could be finances, relationships or environments. It's anything that's tangible in your life. And either uh, one of these categories can be affect the other. So we need to make well-balanced decisions about our future here. Now, we could be juggling too much as well here. So if you've got too much on your plate, it's time to delegate. But what we're doing here is we're bringing in change. And fives are change for me. So we're coming away from antagonistic people, environments, situations. Um, like I say, you know, this is time to take that step back. Uh, choose your battles carefully, most definitely. Um, and don't doubt your ability to bring the changes in that are needed, because this is going to be a bittersweet victory here. Whatever you're deciding, it's finding that middle path forward so that you can move on. And the weighing up of these decisions is going to be highly important. So you're weighing things up to find that middle path. It can feel like you're not coming out with everything you would like. It's a bittersweet victory in the sense that you're winning battle but not the war. And there can be a feeling of loss here. So we've got to focus on what we're coming out with. But the important thing is here that we're not doubting our ability to bring the changes in. We're focusing on what we can get out of this situation. Um, it can feel like you're taking a step, you know, two steps back. Always say to take a step forward with this card. Definitely. But there's a sacrifice that's needing to be made to move on and bring the change in to move on from the situation that's causing this anxiety in your life. And what will happen here is when you do that, you'll start to move forward very quickly. Now, it'll lighten your load. OK, the mental anxieties will start to d disappear. It's changes that need to be made and worrying about it is not going to help. It's the worrying that's causing the confusion. So once you weigh these things up and you're prepared to take that step back and look at things and review your situation, and you weigh these things up and make these decisions, find that middle path here, you're going to go forward. And this is you starting to be able to lay solid foundations for your future. Now, like I say, this could be new jobs. It could be working with one person or more to bring that balance in. Um, when you're weighing things up, you could be joining new teams, new jobs. It could be uh, new relationships. Um, you could be working with anybody that gives you good advice here. But you're working as a collaborative energy. It lightens your load if you work together with others or one person or more. And your hard work will pay off. You'll get that stability back. You'll weigh things up correctly. If you come out your head, listen to your intuition. And once you make these decisions and find that middle path, you're going to grow on to prosper. And the solid foundations that you're laying and the hard work that you put in, you will be rewarded for it. They will stand the test of time. 
whatever you're putting your efforts into will stand the test of time. And through committing to these things and working on your goals here, uh, depending on what the choices are you've made. If you put the effort in and you work hard, you're going to create a lot of security in the future. So laying the solid foundations is highly important here. Making the right compromises, um, making the right sacrifices is important here so you can get onto this path to bring the stability back. There's lots of home comforts coming in, financial security. You could end up a boss type figure if you're joining a new job. If you're developing skills here and learning something, it could bring you in better money. So there's a lot of security coming from hard work, but you're going to have to weigh things up clearly. You're going to have to decide what you're going to invest your time and your efforts into. And that's highly important. And once you've decided that and you've moved forward towards whatever it is you're wanting to achieve, you will be successful. You've got the skills here to do that. You're going to start to feel secure. You're going to be able to sit back, and enjoy the fruits of your labour. And there's a childlike joy that's going to be restored to your life. This can be new people, uh, people, beg your pardon, people showing up from your past that you're glad to see. It can be somebody from a previous life that crosses your path at this time. But there's a childlike joy coming back and you're moving on from the mental anxieties and the confusion that you found yourself in. Uh, through healing, taking that step back, making well-balanced decisions for your future. Oh, I've got two here. Hidden depths. Hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or a memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we become free. And that's what we're really needing to do. We're needing to come out our head and we're needing to connect in with our intuition, the hidden depths, and you'll start to see the way forward. Friendship. Friendship. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfil your dreams. And this is teamwork. This is when you're getting onto the path of progress and stability and teamwork is needed here. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.